With the G5, LG needed to do something different. While the G4 was generally a solid device, it had a few major issues. The phone's volume buttons and on and off switch were located on the rear of the device, and its plastic construction couldn't keep up with the competition. Well, LG has learned from its past mistakes, and the G5 features a rear fingerprint scanner, which also doubles as an on slash off switch, and finally, a solid metal unibody. The G5's modular port located at the phone's base lets you easily remove the smartphone's battery, as well as attach other accessories like the Camera Plus, which turns the phone into a point-and-shoot camera, and the LG Hi-Fi Plus with Bang & Olufsen Play, a speaker designed specifically for the G5. While the G5's modular port is fascinating and could create a shift in the smartphone world, it's unclear how many third-party manufacturers have actually signed on to create accessories for the phone. In terms of specs, the G5 matches Samsung's offerings with the S7. LG's latest smartphone measures in at a comfortable 5.3 inches, features a 1440x2560 LCD display, 4 gigs of RAM, and a Qualcomm 820 processor. Its two front-facing cameras, yes, two cameras, <laughs> measure in at 8 megapixels and 16 megapixels respectively, with the 8 megapixel camera operating as a wide-angle lens thanks to its 135 degree view space. Similar to the S7, it's still far too early to pass judgment on the G5, but it's hard not to admire LG's attempt to do something truly different with their new phone. Unlike Samsung's S7, the G5 is not an iterative update and really feels like a completely different device when compared to the G4.